haven't done this yet, but let's see if we can solve this reaction. Uh, I'm a student and I'm working at home. This is a problem set. So I was asked to provide two different synthetic pathways for the following compound utilizing a Wittig reaction in each pathway. So what's a Wittig reaction? What's the best thing to do? Best thing to do is go to Google and write Wittig reaction. See what I get? Uh, Wikipedia is usually pretty good, so let's see if Wikipedia helps us out. We get to Wikipedia. Okay, it's looking a little complicated very quickly. We go down. Oh, I remember Dr. Banks talking about these things in class. Uh, he gave a bit of a simplified mechanism. He mentioned this mechanism. Oh, look at this. This helps me out a lot. So there's a ketone. And there's a uh, phosphorus ilid. And I see that I make a carbon-carbon double bond, R1, R2. So i got to start with a ketone and make this phosphorus reagent. So let's take this. Let's go into ChemDraw. Oh, I still have a mess in ChemDraw. Well, uh... Let's just get rid of this mess. Oops. There we go. So I need a ketone. First, I'm going to draw this in here so can figure out what I need. I need a ketone. Let's go back into uh, PowerPoint so I can do some drawing. Uh, I need a ketone. That can be my ketone. My ketone could be acetone. And if that's the case, this other part has to be my phosphorus ilid. So I can have there that takes care of that. And then I need a phosphorus ilid. Let me see. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I like Draw them like this. Shoot, <coughs> excuse me. So this is going to be bonded to phosphorus. And my phosphorus is going to have there we go, and now it's got a. I can draw one of two ways. I can put a positive charge on the phosphorus. and a negative charge of my carbon. I could have alternatively drawn it. Like that. That's also a phosphorus ilid. But, oops, I gotta go all the way back here because of, there we go. There, that will react with this to make the carbon-carbon uh, double bond. Alternatively, I could have done clip. I could have done this instead. Oops, I keep 
spread in the wrong. We need to copy. There we go, copy. Get rid of all that junk. I could have used this carbonyl containing compound. And now I have to have my phosphorus illid, um, this compound. So I have oops. This is not a very pretty way to draw. There's my phosphorus. And I'm going to put three phenyl groups on there. And that's going to have a positive charge. And my carbon is going to have a negative charge. There we go. And I'm just going to make this a little prettier by there we go. That's the other way I could have done it. I could have used this illid and this carbonyl compound. And how would I make these? Well, I would make this. Uh, this one I would make from bromide and phosphorus triphenylphosphine actually there we go this And that gives me this compound minus, but we have to be a little careful. I'm going to put it actually gives me this. There we go. And I have to use a strong base, something like, oh, sodium amide would be fine, or a phenyl lithium, or a Grignard, something that will pull off that. I'm going to use sodium amide. me that compound and finally I just react this with this ketone and I get this compound Same thing over here. Uh, give it a try.